I am Almudena Carracedo. And I'm Robert Behar, and we're the directors of the film The Silence of Others. The Silence of Others tells the story of victims and survivors of crimes, of Spain's dictatorship, who to this day are still fighting for justice. You have victims of torture living 500 meters from the police officers who tortured them. You have more than 114,000 bodies still in mass graves around Spain. And so the film is not just about those crimes, but it's about a movement of victims and survivors of those crimes seeking justice. This scene is the first scene in the film. A woman, Maria Martin, leaves her house and follows this ritual of going to the guardrail on the side of a highway and placing flowers there. And she's doing that because underneath that road lies the mass grave where her mother's body is. Yo tenía seis años cuando fueron a por mi madre. Gente del pueblo. Por todo de blanco. La encontraron al día siguiente, a orilla de la carretera. I think the scene is a really interesting example just in terms of how we film as a team. Often it's just the two of us going out, and Almudena is the cinematographer, and I record sound, and then we produce and direct together. And one of the reasons we do that is because building trust and building intimacy is almost more important than the technical or the production aspects of what we're doing. We're really trying to create a space where these deep and amazing and profound moments can kind of unfold. And when we were on this shoot, there was actually a really amazing moment that unfolded. I had my tripod on the road itself. It's a little dangerous because it's a highway. But at a certain moment, like, she sat down. And it was such a profound moment that we were able to to capture precisely because she has so much trust with us. She doesn't realize there is a camera because she really is talking to me, not to the camera. She's talking to the person behind the camera. And also very important to point out as, as a camera person, but also as filmmakers, right? To follow a story like this for six years, uh, there is a lot of transference of pain that occurs. So in those scenes, if the audience is crying, you need to picture us crying too. We're crying there with the character, we are sharing the experience, and that intimacy comes through the screen and actually enters the audience so that we can, in a way, convey what it means for these people to be struggling every day with this you know, access to justice and with this access to dignity.